In this presentation, we will discuss special program number 14, Palindromes. So let's get started. The topic of this lecture is special program palindromes. Now let's look at the problem statement. Write a program to check whether the given string is a palindrome or not. We are interested in writing a program to check whether the string provided by the user is a palindrome or not. First, we need to understand the meaning of palindrome in order to write the program for the same. Let's understand the meaning of palindrome first. A palindrome is a word, a sentence or a number that reads the same backwards as forwards. So, palindrome can be a word, it can be a sentence or it can be a number that reads the same backwards as forwards. Let's see examples to clarify this definition. Here are some examples. Level, Madam, 1 to 2, 1. These are all palindromes. Why is that the case? The first word is the palindrome because if we read this word from left to right, we will get level. And if we read this word from right to left, then also we will get level. According to the definition, a palindrome is a word, a sentence or a number that reads the same backwards as forwards. If we read this word from left to right, then we will get level. If we read this word from right to left, then also we will get level. Similarly, if we read this word from left to right, then we will get madam. If we read this word from right to left, then also we will get madam. Also, if we read this number from left to right, we will get 1 to 2, 1. If we read this number from right to left, then also we will get 1 to 2, 1. So, these are all palindromes. I hope the idea is clear. Now we are ready to write the program to check whether the string provided by the user is a palindrome or not. We first need to receive the input from the user, that is the string from the user. For this purpose, we can use the input method like this. Here to this input method, I have passed this string which will be displayed as a prompt to the user. User will provide the string and that string will be received here in this variable s. Now, before writing the logic of this program, we first need to remove the white spaces and we need to convert all the uppercase letters to lowercase letters in this string. Why is that the case? Let's say that the user has provided the string madam where the first letter is capitalized. If we compare the first letter with the last letter, then in the eyes of a program, they are not same. Capital letter M is not same as small letter M. But this is not the intention of the user. According to the user, this string madam is a palindrome. But the program will produce a different output. The program will say that the string is not a palindrome because the first letter is not same as the last letter. So we must go for case insensitive comparison. For this purpose, we can convert all the uppercase letters to lowercase letters. Also, if let's say the user has provided a sentence, Sentence may have white spaces. We should remove the white spaces as they do not contribute anything in the comparison. So, our next task is to remove the white spaces and convert all uppercase letters to lowercase letters from the string which is provided by the user. Let's do this now. We can do these two operations in the same line. This is the way we can do this. To this string s, we have applied the replace method. This replace method will replace all the white spaces with no character. This means that all the white spaces will be removed. Also, with the help of lower method, all the uppercase letters will be replaced by the lowercase letters. So, with the help of these two methods, we can achieve the target that we want. Eventually, this s variable will receive the updated string. And that's what we want. Now we are ready to write the logic of this program. The logic is pretty simple. We need to compare the first letter with the last letter first. If they are same, then we will continue. Otherwise, we will set some variable to false to indicate that the string is not palindrome. If at all the first letter is same as the last letter, then we will continue and check the second letter with the second last letter. And in the same way, we continue further. For this purpose, we need two variables. Let's create the variable start and let's assign 0 to it. Let's create one more variable end and let's assign len of s minus 1 to it. 
len of s will return the length of the string s. If the string is madam, then we will get 5 here. And 5 minus 1 is 4. So eventually end will receive value 4. These two variables will be used to keep track of the letters that we are comparing at the time. Initially start is 0 and end is 4 if the string is madam. This means that start variable is pointing to the first letter of the string and variable end is pointing to the last letter of the string. Initially this is what we want. We first have to compare the first letter with the last letter. If they both are same then only we will continue. So these two variables initially are holding the index of the first letter and the last letter. Now after this, we need one more variable flag. We will assign it the value true because we are assuming this that the string that is provided by the user is a palindrome. This flag variable keeps track of whether the string is a palindrome or not. If flag is true, then this means that the string is palindrome. If flag is false, then this means that the string is not a palindrome. Now we need a loop to compare each character of the string. So let's write this while statement. While start less than end. We are comparing start and end. If it is the case that start is less than end, then only we will continue. If at all start becomes equal to end, then it means that both start and end are pointing to the same character and it does not need any comparison because they both are equal. So it does not make any sense to put less than equal to here. Now let's continue and check if s start is not equal to s end. Initially start is 0 and end is 4 if the string is madam. This means that we are comparing the first letter with the last letter. If they are not same then we will set flag to false. This means that the string is not a palindrome. After this we need to increment start by 1. And we need to decrement end by 1 so that we can compare the other letters of the string. After execution of this while loop, we need to check if flag is true or not. If flag is true, then this message will be displayed on the screen. That is the string is a palindrome. Otherwise, this message will be displayed on the screen. That is the string is not a palindrome. So this is the entire program which allows us to check whether the string is palindrome or not. Now let's execute this program line by line. Let's first execute this line. s equal to input enter a string. This message will be displayed on the screen. And user will provide the input. Let's say user has provided madam. Here the first letter is the capital letter. Which will eventually be converted to lowercase m because of this method lower. Right now this string is provided to this variable s. So, s is now pointing to the string madam. Now after this, we need to execute this line. Because of this, we will get small m here. After this, this line is executed. This means start is pointing to 0. End is pointing to 4. Because this string has 5 characters. And here we are subtracting 1 from 5. Which means that we will get 4 here. And flag is set to true. This means that flag variable is pointing to this true value. After this, we need to check this condition. Is start less than end? Yes, start is less than end. 0 is less than 4. Therefore, this statement is executed. Is it the case that s start is not equal to s end? No, it is not the case. This letter m is equal to this letter m. Therefore, this condition is not satisfied. Hence, this statement is executed. Start is incremented by 1, this means this becomes 1. And end is decremented by 1, this means that this becomes 3. Now, start is pointing to this letter and end is pointing to this letter. Let's compare start and end once again. 1 is less than 3, therefore we'll go inside this while loop and check this condition. We know that s start is same as s end. These two letters are same. Therefore, this condition is not satisfied, hence flag is not set to false. So, we can jump directly to this line and increment start by 1. This becomes 2. And now we need to decrement end by 1. This becomes 2. Both start and end are pointing to the same letter D. 
This time start less than end is false. Therefore, we will get outside of this loop. And now we need to check if flag is equal to true or not. Flag is set to true. This means that this message is displayed on the screen. So we will get this message. The string is a palindrome. This string is indeed a palindrome. So with this, we are done with the execution of this program. I hope it is clear how this program works. Now let's execute this program in Visual Studio Code. This is the same program. I have created this file palindromes.py in my Python work folder. You can do the same. Now let's execute this program. Let's type Python, then space, then the name of this file. Let's hit enter. It is asking us to enter a string. Let's enter madam. Let's hit enter again. We are getting this message. The string is a palindrome, which is correct. Now let's execute this program once again. This time, let's provide this string, sir. The string is not a palindrome, which is correct. If we read the string from left to right, we'll get sir. But if we read this string from right to left, we'll not get the same word. Therefore, the string is not a palindrome. Now let's execute this program once again. This time, let's type 1 to 2, 1 a number. The string is a palindrome. So we have verified this program. This program is working correctly. Now let's get back to our presentation. We have verified our program in Visual Studio Code. And this means that we are done with this topic that is special program palindromes. And this means we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this lecture. I will see you in the next one.